Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and today we are continuing our SnowRunner Let's Play. Uh, real quick before we get into today's video though, I just wanted to let you all know that I am doing a 300 subscriber giveaway on my Twitter page. I'll leave a link in the description below. All you've got to do is subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter and retweet the tweet and uh, you're entered. I'll, I'll be picking the winners on Monday the 8th of June so if you want a chance to win some Moldy merch then definitely go and check that out. Uh, but today we are back in SnowRunner. I've got the Western Star Twin Steer here. In the last episode we went ahead and rescued this thing and we also customised the thing. It's an absolute beast of a machine and today I wanted to actually go and use the thing. So we're back here in Black River in Michigan again today. So today I've got two jobs that I want to go and do in Twin Star which I think it should be able to cope with quite easily and they're both actually right here. So the first one I want to go ahead and clear these, this roadblock right here. Um, so we need to go and pick up some supplies for that and the second one is repairing this wooden bridge right here. So the first thing we need to go and get is two spare parts uh, from the warehouse up here it's right near the garage so that shouldn't be too difficult but then we need to head into town all the way over here to the town storage and collect some um, metal planks and then after we've done that we should be able to clear the rock fall and then after that we need to go to the lumber mill and collect two wooden planks and deliver them to the bridge and that should be it right we are leaving the garage for the first time I have driven this thing briefly in the previous video so if you've not seen that and you want to see um, me recovering the twin steer here then I will leave a link in the description to the snowrunner playlist I've made uh, that's got all the videos I've created in so far, but in the last episode, we did go and rescue this thing. It was quite a long haul video. Um, it's probably the longest video I've made on SnowRunner. Now, the quite handy thing about this car, or this uh, truck I should say, is... Obviously, you can see how big this thing is. It's really long. It can carry four sort of units of cargo and the metal planks are going to take up two cargo slots and the two service parts are going to take up one each so that's another two and this thing can carry four so that's going to be perfect actually for clearing the rock fall so we're going to go and get the metal planks first because they're a little bit further away and then we're going to go and get the service parts and then take all that to the rock fall and then we're going to go and get the wooden planks and take them to the bridge. Right, we're just entering the town. We've got a nice welcome sign there. I believe this is the only map that sort of has an actual, like, proper town, like with paved roads and everything. Um, not many of the other maps seem to have that. I mean, they have, like, little settlements, but not, like, a proper town. And here is the town storage, just to my right. Um, I've got to make it around this corner first. We're already hitting a lamppost. The wheels don't want to turn back, which is always helpful. Right, let's try that again. Right, so that's where we've got to go down there you can see the yellow thingy I'm gonna go around the other side and maybe we can um, maybe we can get in that side a little bit easier I also didn't take the best route around here don't hit the fire hydrant please we are kind of driving on someone's lawn just a little bit it's okay they won't mind don't hit this car There we go, that's it. That's what we needed. 
<laughs> okay, cargo management. We want some metal planks. There we go. So we've got the metal planks. You can see they take up two spaces. Um, and then we just need to get the service parts and they should fit on the back there. Another little three point turn just to get out of here. We need to go back to the garage now actually because that's where the warehouse is. It's up that sort of direction. And that's where we get the service parts from. Now, I have been to the warehouse a couple of times just off camera doing a couple of missions, and it is quite boggy up there. So, it'll be a good test to see whether the twin steer is actually a good off roader or whether it is just a bit of a beach whale. And we've got to make this tight corner once again. It's not as bad going this way. We're going to do it in one. That is incredible. I'm getting used to how this thing drives now. Hopefully in the next couple of days as well, we're going to hear some news about the SnowRunner mods. So if you are a SnowRun, SnowRunner gamer, or you just like following the SnowRunner sort of um, information. They did release a mods trailer a couple of weeks back. Um, I've got a video of it here on the channel. And um, it gave us a lot of interesting information about how the mods were going to work and kind of um, when they might be coming out. Um, it's going to work similar to how it does in farming sim, you'll go to a page online, download the mods and then it will appear in your game. Um, but they didn't actually tell us when it was going to be releasing on console. They did say that it was going to be coming on console, but they didn't tell us when. So um, we're kind of waiting at the moment to hear some information about that. Uh, but when it does come out, I'll definitely be playing a couple of mods. I've seen some really cool mods already that I want to check out. So if that's something you're interested in, then I will be checking that out as soon as mods do release. Alright, just around this corner is a bit of a horrible bog. It's, um, it's not too bad for some of the proper off-road vehicles, something like the um, ANK that made it through here with ease. Um, I don't know how this thing's going to cope. It seems to be doing okay at the moment. Um, I'm going to stick it in low range and put diff locks on, just see if that makes any difference. There are a couple of telegraph poles luckily that we can winch to. Um, it seems to be doing okay though. It's not going quickly through it, but it is going through it, which is at least something. And there we go. We are through. Don't speak too soon. Come on, truck. Don't get stuck there. There we go. That's it. Now the rest of the way is fairly nice. There are. A few tight corners though, um, so that's something to be mindful of. Alright, there's another little bit of a bog here. This is a bit worse. There are trees and telegraph poles around. I'm going to stick to this side over here, just because it's a little bit nicer. I'm going to stick it in low range diff locks, just so we're not spinning the tyres too much. It's a real shame that we couldn't get all-wheel drive on this thing. I know the all-wheel drive would be crazy if you put it on a vehicle like this, but it would have been really cool. would have been a bit of an OP vehicle, but I would have been fine with that. The diff locks and the low range is nice, but all-wheel drive and permanent diff locks would have been awesome on a vehicle like this. And here we are at the factory, or at the warehouse I should say. 
and we just need to pick up the two service parts here and then we're going to head to the rockfall and hopefully clear that out of the way right so we need two service parts there we go so we are fully loaded up now with the twin steer Right, so I'm just having a look on the map. We are currently up here at the warehouse and the rockfall is just here. I'm just debating the sort of nicest route to take. I feel like we just want to follow this road here. Um, we could probably, I think we want to head sort of to the farm here, go through the farm sort of through the other side of the farm and follow this route it seems to be mainly on tarmac and um, well there's a little bit of dirt but it shouldn't be too difficult something that is quite impressive with this vehicle is it's such a massive thing it does have a fairly big gas tank in this thing it can hold 360 litres you can see in the bottom um, but the fuel consumption is actually not that bad for a massive vehicle like this it does actually um, it doesn't actually use that much fuel which is quite nice actually something you don't really think about when it's got such a massive gas tank but considering the size of the vehicle the amount of fuel it uses is actually very minimal I have just noticed as well, I know I said this thing was good on uh, fuel consumption, but we've only got 170 litres of fuel left, and while that's still quite a lot of fuel, I don't know if it's going to make it all the way there. So, we are just passing the garage now. Unfortunately, there are no um, places we can fill up, but we can get a little trailer and fill the thing up so while we're passing I'm just gonna do that so something I've learned through playing SnowRunner is the main sort of issue you will run into is actually running out of fuel so another little off-roading tip for you as long as you are close to a trailer store so even if there are no fuel stations around, even if there are no, um, you know, uh, fuel trailers around or anything like that, if you are near a trailer store here, you basically have all you need because you can get a fuel trailer and fill your thing up and you can also get a service trailer and fix your truck. So if you're ever in a bit of a pickle and there's no uh, fuel sort of services around, look for the nearest trailer store and you may still be able to um, sort of help yourself. And there we go, the twin steer is full once again, so we can continue onwards. So we are going to turn right here at the farm, go all the way through the other side of the farm and we should hopefully join onto the tarmac road and then it is just a straight road to the rockfall. Personally I think it's really cool, I I'm really glad they added this thing to the game. The sell price alone for this thing is amazing. But I have to admit the practical use of this vehicle is a little bit short handed because while it's good at doing something like this, you can't really take this thing extreme off roading. So you could use this thing for like little missions especially around the Michigan maps because they're a little bit nicer. But if you wanted to take this thing extreme off roading it's really not going to cope that well it bottoms out all the time the cornering as you can see is absolutely terrible in the thing the stock winch on this thing is also not great although you can upgrade it with the dual winch so um, if you've not seen the customization video I did for this thing you can actually fit two winches to this thing um, which gives it a lot more power this thing obviously is very heavy so the stock winch does have a little bit of a 
struggle pulling this thing because it is so heavy. Um, so I can see why people don't like this vehicle, but I just like the look of the thing. It's awesome. It's not the best off-roader, but the fact that it can carry so much is just awesome. Okay, so I was going along this road all well and happy. We're almost now at the roadblock. But something cropped up inevitably. There is a fallen bridge so basically we can't go this way however um, we may be able to ah we need one metal plank and two concrete blocks which we can actually get from the warehouse which is a right pain in the backside but we could at least deliver the metal planks because something else that I've discovered while we're doing this is for the roadblock, if I just go to the roadblock, uh, there it is. We actually only need the two service parts. We don't need the metal planks. So, at least we've got the metal planks. We can use them for the bridge, um, but we don't need them for the roadblock. So, we will show the task, accept the task. Uh, cargo management, we will unload the metal uh, We'll unload the metal thingies and that sort of constructs the frame But then we do actually need to go and get the concrete blocks. So I'm gonna go and get the concrete blocks back from the warehouse and I'll see you when we can cross the bridge again all right so i am back i went and got the um the ank right here and uh, just picked up the concrete blocks i just drove the same road that we did in the twin star and i have to say if you haven't got the ank yet it is definitely my favorite big rig in this game if you've not got it go and get it i've got a video that I made showing the location and actually discovering the vehicle you don't have to repair the thing when you find it or fuel it up you just get it recover it and it's yours and it is probably the best off-roader in this game uh, but anyway I got the concrete blocks that in the back there so let's go ahead and unload those build the bridge so we can cross over it and uh, luckily we already had the um let's go and stop the engine on this thing luckily we already had the metal on there we didn't actually need it which was nice and now we can cross our brand new bridge as well let's not scuff it up on the first crossing there we go across the bridge I do love how the like little missions actually unlock parts of the map so like you couldn't get across there before but you do the mission and then you can build the bridge and get across and it's like a nice little feature because it feels a lot more rewarding than just getting like cash and RP you actually get um, like a feeling of accomplishment Alright, so just round the next corner here is the fallen rock, so the rock side, you can actually just see it up ahead there. We've got the two service parts we need to unblock that, and then we just need to go and get the wooden planks. So, we go to uh, show the task, accept the task, cargo management, unload those. Oh, and we actually leveled up to rank 8 as well, which is pretty cool. And we got 1600 credits as well there, which is pretty cool. And now we've unblocked this sort of part of the, part of the map as well, which is kind of useful because um, this is sort of like one of the main roads on this side of the map, you can see. Uh, so, the final thing we need to go and do is, if we follow this road around here in the Twin Steer, go across here to the lumber mill, get the wood and bring it back to the bridge. I have travelled this route in one of the scouts and it is actually quite nice. I reckon we should be able to cross that in the Twin Steer and you can actually cross the water here as well, it's not too difficult. Right, so just here is the wooden bridge that we are going to go and fix up. 
Um, you can actually drive across this water if you stick right close to the side of the bridge then you shouldn't have any issues. I made it across in I think I was in the Hummer um, it got fairly deep but I mean this thing does have some pretty good uh, like air filter thingies so it can go pretty deep. I'm gonna go low range diff locks hopefully we don't get stuck if you can just keep momentum going that is the whole thing with um, like river crossings especially this one because there are no winch points which is a little bit of a pain uh, but you can see the bridge is pretty much in the river to begin with and uh, where the bridge is is actually not too bad ground so as long as you stick close to the bridge you're okay We could just park this thing in the river and make it a bridge. I mean, it's pretty much the same length as the bridge. Okay, so the whole thing about keeping momentum it didn't really work. Uh, this thing is also slowly getting pushed over. I have a feeling this thing's going to fall over. Um, but I am actually completely stuck now. If I try and move... Ooh, do we have any movement? Yeah, the ground is a little bit glitchy over here as well. You can actually see what's happening under the water, which is quite useful. Uh, yeah, this thing is completely submerged now. It's not taking any water damage, so that's at least one thing. But I'm going to go and get the ANK to the other side and see if we can pull this thing out. Right, I got to this side as fast as I could in the ANK. We've already had to pull this thing out of the swamp once when we actually went and rescued it. Um, yeah, we're going to have to be a bit closer than that. Um, and I discovered in that video that it didn't really like pulling stuff in, well, forwards. It's still got to be closer. So I'm just going to go straight for the reverse. And I hope this thing can pull that out. It does have all-wheel drive. It does have diff locks. It's a pretty good vehicle. Well, I mean, it's actually my favourite um, big rig off-roader. The only thing that lets this thing down is the, um, the fuel consumption in the ANK is phenomenal. It uses a lot of fuel. So, if you're going to go and get this thing, that is something just to be aware of. And it also doesn't have any frame add-ons, which is a little bit of a pain. But, it has rescued the massive whale out of the swamp once again. I'm hoping it's not going to be stuck there now. Um, come on, truck. You can do it. I would have gone all the way around but it's a long way around and the fact that we could just drive this thing across the river was actually not too bad. Come on please don't say we're stuck here. Oh for god's sake. Right okay we'll winch that to the ANK, handbrake off and winching. There we go, that's what we needed. Okay, we are across to the other side. The wood mill is just to my left round here. We're gonna pick up the wooden planks and fix the bridge. And we won't ever have to drive across the swamp again. Right, here is the lumber mill. Um, I can't remember where we need to go to get the wood. I think it's around the front here. There we go. We need two wooden planks. There we go. And then we just need to go back to the bridge and fix it. Alright, we are just approaching with the wood. Please don't bottom out there. I thought it was going to get stuck. 
and we have actually there we go we have actually fixed up a bridge in this thing it's probably the shittiest bridge you've ever seen but we did get 120 RP and 1400 credits and to celebrate I'm actually going to drive this thing across here since we got stuck in the water before I want to drive this thing across our brand new bridge which apparently it can't do because it's stuck on a tree for God's sake twin steer you're supposed to be a behemoth of a vehicle you're not supposed to be stopped by twigs and such piddly little issues there we go it is almost the entire length of the bridge so for all of those people who are possibly watching this video possibly not who think that the twin steer is a completely useless vehicle in this game we set out to do two objectives we ended up completing three we fixed two bridges and uh, we cleared a rock fall as well so to all of you I say definitely go and get the twin steer it's not as useless as it seems obviously there are a lot better vehicles I could have done this a lot easier and a lot quicker with something like the ANK however it was a lot of fun doing it in this vehicle um, I really do like this thing and we've uh, explored a bit more of the map as well uh, but that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you have all enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, a goodbye.